Hi there, everybody. Welcome again to the Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So, um, before we get into some action for MLB for September 18th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we have four different ones to look at for today as the season is getting close to finishing there's still a lot of playoff positioning up for grabs so let's take a look at some of the action so the first one we want to look at here is uh texas rangers versus tampa bay rays you see texas coming in average down they have um lost their last two of their last three and they're three and three over their last six while well, tampa bay is ice cold up they are two and four over their last six um glenn otto is scheduled to go for the rangers versus jeffrey springs for tampa bay you notice here that otto is six and eight with a four seven one era and a poor bet at minus 57 while springs is eight and four two point four one era and he's a very good bet at plus 507. Uh, let's take a look at this chart here the power ranking indicator you can see that Tampa Bay right here on this chart is at plus four. While Texas, if you look at this line here, they went from plus five up to uh, plus 18. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent are the two teams with regard to their favorite underdog status? You can see Tampa Bay very consistent at plus 28. Texas, not as much. They are in at plus eight at the moment. Uh, the score predictor has Tampa coming out with a win by a 6-4 to four margin with about 48% level of confidence. In the end here, I like the Rays at home in a game going over the line. Okay, so as we go down through here to the next one, we will take a look at Philadelphia and Atlanta. You see that Philadelphia is burning hot down. They are coming off of a loss, and they are 5-1, and one, though, over their last six. While the Braves are ice cold down, you can see they are 2-4 and four over their last six. Um, if you look at the power ranking indicator, again, I like to look at this chart very frequently. It's very helpful. Uh, Philadelphia was at plus one, and they have climbed up to plus 26 over the last couple of weeks, while Atlanta went from plus 11 up to plus 19. Um, if you look at the pitching matchup, it's Bailey Falter for Philadelphia and Spencer Strider for Atlanta. Uh, Falter is 5-3 and three with a 3.80 ERA. And a very solid bet at plus 692. Moss Strider is 10 and 5. Very good record. Very good ERA at 272. Uh, and he is, has a 108 ERA over his last three starts. And is solid at plus 51. Okay, let's look at the volatility oscillator. If we look at this, we will see that Atlanta is extremely stable. Look at this at plus 49. You see how the trend of the chart is going upward for the most part. Well, Philadelphia is upward now as well, more recently, after being pretty stable for a uh, pretty level for a while. They're up to plus 16. The score predictor has Philadelphia by a 5-4 to four score, that 46% confidence. Um, I actually kind of like Atlanta in this one, I think, at home. It's going to be a close game. It would not surprise me for Philadelphia to, to come on top. I, I think Atlanta's got to get this one in a game going under the line. The next one we want to look at is, scroll down through here, New York and Baltimore. The Yankees come in burning hot. You can see here that they are 4-2 and two over the last six, while the Brewers are average. They're coming off of a loss, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six. The pitching matchup is Jared Cole versus Jason Alexander. Cole is 11-7 with a good ERA of 3.30. But he already 692 over the last three and has not been a good bet at minus $364. If you look at Alexander, he is a better bet, still a, a poor bet at minus 191. He is two and three of the 5.29. Yeah, right. Um, if you look at the power ranks indicator chart again, you can see the trend here. Milwaukee was at plus six, and the trend is upward to plus 27. Uh, New York was at plus 16. Uh, about a week ago, and they have climbed up to plus 28. The score predictor likes the Yankees in a very low scoring game by a 2 to 1 margin with about 70% level of confidence. If you take a this, look at the stability factor again, I always like to look at this. Um, let's see here. 
we wait for the chart to come up. There we go. You see the Yankees are at plus 27, but that is not as stable as they were just a couple weeks ago. You can see, actually, not more than a couple weeks ago, a little over a month ago, they were as high as plus 33, and they have been a little bit less consistent since then. Milwaukee has been up and down with their consistency, and they are at plus 16 at the moment. So now if you look at the overall prediction here, it looks like uh, – the Yankees here, a better team. They will take this one on the road by a couple of runs. And I look for a lower scoring one going under. Okay, the last one then we have to look at is down here. This one is LA Dodgers and San Francisco Giants. If you look at this one in this classic NL West battle, the Dodgers come in average. They are coming off of a loss and are 4-2 over their last six. Well, San Francisco is average up there coming off of a win, and they're also 4-2 over their last six. If you look at the power rank indicator chart, you can see here that the Yankees, excuse me, Yankees, the Dodgers are up at the top at plus 29. San Francisco was at plus 21. You see how they dipped over the last few days down to plus 9. If you look at the pitching matchup, Andrew Haney for the Dodgers and Alex Cobb for the Giants. Haney is 3-2 with a very good ERA of 2.84 and plus 240. If you look at Cobb, he's a very poor bet at minus 721. Uh, but his overall record is 6-6 six six with a decent ERA of 3.48. But over the last three starts, the ERA, you look at the number there, it has climbed to 5.81. The score predictor has this one, Dodgers 7 Giant six with confidence in prediction of a little less than the flip of coin at 49%. The volatility oscillator shows San Francisco at plus 16. Look at LA. Look at the way the trend is on the chart. Way up here at plus 56. Extremely stable. In the end, I like Los Angeles in this one in a game going over the line. Okay, so there you have it for all four. Enjoy the weekend. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.